hi students i hope all are fine so without much of introduction we shall enter the class so just like uh, uh, as in the last class we had been learning about uh, we were learning about tenses isn't it so now we shall continue from there so in the last class we saw about the present tense about the past tense and also some instructions about the future tense so present and the past we have already covered so today we have a future tense to be covered and also some other portions we will be covering today okay so first one simple future okay future tense is used to denote an action that will take place that has not yet taken place but it will happen in the future okay so we use will or shall in future tense to show that it is going to happen okay so simple future the formula is this subject plus will or shall plus verb plus object so i will eat grapes she will sing a song we will play football okay that is simple future tense next we have future continuous to denote an action that will be continuing in the future for some time so it has the formula subject plus will or shall plus be plus verb plus ing plus object so as i said it is in the progressive isn't it so that's why we use ing for i will be eating grapes she will be singing a song we will be playing football okay so this is it for the future continuous tense next we have future perfect tense so future perfect tense is used to show an action that will that will have taken place for definitely in the future okay so the press uh, the formula would be like this subject plus will or shall plus have plus verb 3 plus object okay so it has the uh, the sentences can be written like this i will have eaten grapes she will have sung a song we will have played football all right next we have future perfect continuous to denote an action that will be that will be taking place but it will continue for quite some time okay and it would be continuing all right so the formula would be like this subject plus will or shall plus have plus be plus verb plus ing plus object okay so the sentences are like this i will have been eating grapes she will have been singing a song we will have been playing football so this is these are the tenses their category and also the formulas so what you have to do is just try to understand the formula then insert words into it okay that is the only thing you need to do understand the formula and try to insert words okay subject who, who is a subject put subject there then will or shall put that then have put that then plus been put that then which is a verb you are using so put that verb and also ing for in the ing for okay and add object so it is enough that you add words to it so you get a sentence okay so next what we have is a it's a kind of filling the blanks okay first maybe two or three i will do it for you so if you see here we already have the verb so what we need to do we need to just write the correct one 
Okay, the first word. You dash a wax figure ever. Have you? So, uh, in the bracket we have not see. Okay, not see. So, it is a tag question, isn't it? Have you? So, the auxiliary should be have. Okay, should be have only. So, you have not seen a wax figure. Have you? Understood? You have not seen a wax figure. Have you? Then, she dash the cake all by herself. Didn't she? So, the verb is make. And we have uh, the tag question here, didn't. So, we have to write as she made the cake all by herself. Didn't she? Understood. She made the cake all by herself. Didn't she? So, try to fill up these four more. Okay. This four more, just go through it. We have the verbs there. So, just go through it and write the answer. Okay. So, here, this is about present perfect tense so what we need to do asho has been trying to make him laugh for uh, laugh since 5 p okay has been trying okay we have learned this present perfect has been okay if it is a first person plural or first person plural or first person secular we we'll have to use i have been isn't it i have been trying they have been trying we have been trying okay so this is present perfect tense we have to use has or have and if it is a third person singular in any name okay any name will be used as a third person singular only okay so that's why it is a has been the highlighted verbs in this sentence indicate an activity that started or happened in the past but continues to be true in the present we have seen this okay when i took the uh, present perfect tense i taught you that okay so it started in the past and it is continuing then only we use past uh, present perfect tense okay it started in the past and continuing then we have see as i said has or have plus been verb plus ing okay Affirmative Ashok has been trying to make him laugh for a long time. Then next one negative have or has plus not plus been plus verb plus ing negative Ashok has not been trying to make him laugh for a long time. Then questions have or has plus pronoun plus been plus verb plus ing okay this is how questions are made okay questions has ashok been trying to make him laugh for a long time has ashok been trying to make him laugh for a long time see the formula just insert the formula insert the words into it then we get the we get the answer okay now past perfect continuous there we saw present perfect continuous to show an action that has that has started in the past that has started in the past but it still continues now past perfect continuous so ashok had been trying to make him laugh for three hours before he came to know that he was a wax figure so highlighted verbs in this sentence show that something continued to be true for some time in the past. The underlined part of the sentence shows another action happened. Notice that the two related actions shown on the timeline as X started and finished in the past. So, Ashok started trying at 5 p.m. He came to know he was a wax figure at 10 p.m. So it started in the past and it ended in the past. Okay, so that that's where we use past perfect continuous. It started in the past and continued for some time and it ended. That is where we use past perfect tense. So we also have formula here: had plus been plus verb plus ing. Okay, affirmative. 
Ashok had been trying to make him laugh for three hours, but he came to know he was a wax figure. Then, negative. Had plus not plus been plus verb plus ing. Ashok had not been trying to make him laugh for three hours before he came to know that he was a wax figure. Then, question. Had plus pronoun plus been plus verb plus ing. That is, questions. Had Ashok been trying to make him laugh for three hours before he came to know that he was a wax figure? Okay, understood. So, this is how we use past perfect continuous tense and also present perfect continuous tense. Understood? Present the perfect continuous tense used to show an action that happened in the past, that started in the past and still it continues. And past perfect tense. Uh, past perfect continuous tense is used to show an action that started in the past, it continued for some time and it ended in the past. Okay. Yes. So, we have a worksheet. In the last class, we wrote sentences for past tense and the present tense. Present tense. So, today we have to write sentences, uh, two sentences for the future tense. Okay all the four categories so you'll have to write eight sentences okay i hope today's class is clear to you thank you and bye